determine the domain and range of the function. Recall that the domain is the x values, or the input of the function. So what I want to think about for my domain is what allowable x values would we have going in. Or in other words, if I was to compress this graph, what parts of the x value would be covered? Well, even this part, it'd be very, very far down here, but all of my x-axis would be covered. So my domain would be all reals, or negative infinity to infinity. For my range, it's my y values, or my output of my function. So I want to think about if I compress that graph, which parts of the y-axis would be covered with my graph. In this case, it would be from negative infinity up to 5. So I would have negative infinity to 5, and since it would include the 5, I would use a bracket. So negative infinity to 5. 